Hey friends, Mike here, and today we will discuss what a noise gate is and how you use it to improve the clarity of your audio recordings. Alright, here we go! So let's start by describing what a noise gate is. The main function of a noise gate is to eliminate sounds below a given threshold level. In its most simple form, a noise gate allows a signal to pass through only when it is above a set threshold audio level. As long as the audio level is above the threshold that you set, the gate is open. If the signal falls below the threshold, no signal is allowed to pass. It is called a noise gate because every audio signal contains some noise. It can be unwanted noise uh, generated by the electrics uh, or unwanted noise from your recording environment. Listen to this example of how a noise gate affects the audio signal. Alright, so this is a test of an audio recording. Uh, where the microphone is too far away. Listen to the high noise level which is clearly apparent between my words. This is what I want to get rid of as much as I can using a noise gate. In this recording I have added a noise gate plugin to cut the noise in between the words as I speak. Listen carefully when I stop speaking. Alright, so how do you use a noise gate? Basically, it is an effect that you add between the audio source and the recording. You can use a hardware noise gate, but these days it's more common to use a plug-in in your music production software. Here is how you set it up. First, Create the audio track and record what you want at a good average signal level. Let's say you aim for an average audio level of minus 12 decibel, which is quite common. Next, add a noise gate plugin to the track. Most DAWs come with a, a noise gate uh, as a stock plugin. Three, Adjust the threshold level so that it cuts the audio when there is only noise present. If you set it too close to your recording level, it might cut some of your real audio signal. 4. Set the attack and release time. The attack time is how fast the gates start to work, counting from the time the signal pauses below the threshold. The release time is how fast the gate opens again when the signal returns above the threshold level. My recommendation is to start with a threshold level around 40 to 50 decibel with a fast attack time around 40 millisecond and medium release time around 400 millisecond. Then you can adjust these settings until you are satisfied with the result. The most common use cases for using a noise gate are 1. Vocals to get clean separation between words and phrases. Be careful though so that you don't cut out all of the breath sounds because they add an important human quality to the recording. 2. Electric guitar. Especially when using heavy distortion you will get a lot of noise from the boosted levels. Use a noise gate to separate the chugs and pull mutes. 3. Acoustic instruments. When recording, for example, acoustic guitar or any other instrument, you will get unwanted noise from the room. Use a noise gate to bring out only your instrument in the recording. Alright, now it's your turn to let us know your opinion. Have you ever used a noise gate before and for what type of recording? Share your thoughts in a comment and I'll see you in the next video. I wish you a great day. And remember... You rock, my friends!
Your support is legendary, my friends. So I invite you to go to my website and become a VIP.